this action. Missing in action? I have too. Uh, I just want you guys to uh, know that I really appreciate your support. Um, I'm grateful that you guys are following along and keeping up with my journey. Uh, as you can see, the mats are up in the gym. And we are currently moving everything over to the new gym. So this will be my last bench session at uh, my home gym here at the Iron Edge, which is still gonna be Iron Edge, but we're just moving to another location. Bigger, I think it's like 50,000 square foot. Biggest gym in the Tri-State. Um, and we're gonna, get, we're gonna get the live action in there. So, today is my last day benching here. Bittersweet. This is where I hit my first 700 pound bench at. Um, where a lot of PRs that you see on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, um, a lot of those lifts were done out of this gym. So, um, yeah, I got a tear coming out of my eye, guys. Bittersweet. Uh, but, you know, we're on the new, new ventures. Uh, bigger gym, bigger space, uh, good times. So, get ready for this action today. We got 640 pounds for reps. The last time I hit 640 pounds was about two years ago. Um, that whenever I did it for reps, uh, I hit 640 for two, um, and today, 640 for AMRAP set. That sounds crazy, that's mind-blowing. 640 reps for an AMRAP set, never been done before. So, you know, just being irregular, that's what we do. Say what? You said 640 reps for an AMRAP set. Uh, six, 640 reps for an AMRAP set, no, 640 pounds for an AMRAP set. Um, and we're looking for about, I'm gonna gauge it at six. Six, aiming for eight, hoping for 10. Gracing for 12. All right, guys, it's regular, irregular. So I got IFBB Pro, Big Will Mary is gonna show me some stretching today. Um, we're, we're gonna try to get loose. I can't touch my toes. I mean, I'm 440 pounds, and believe it or not, I am not, uh, what about the word I'm looking for? Flexible. I'm not flexible, or I'm mobile, but I'm not flexible as I should be. Nick, where you heading to? No worries. Uh, we'll get you on camera too. We got a 16 week transformation coming up with my buddy Nick. Uh, but so, what are we doing? What are we doing, real quick? I just, uh, Go ahead and do a hamstring stretch, bend down, touch your toes. Oh. Yeah, it's about as far as I can go. And so it's not quite there yet. So I just gotta show him something that he can do to work on um, being able to fully touch his toes when he stretches his hamstring. So come right here. Bend your knees, just slightly bend your knees. Okay. Until you get to the point where you can grab underneath your toes. Alright. You don't have to bend a little more. Drop your hips up. I feel my bones on my back right here. We're there. We're about there. You gotta grab. All right. Look, so look. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're done. <laughs> no, look. So the reason why you got to grab, right? So this is harder than so, like 640 pounds. Eventually, eventually, what it'll do, you'll get to the point where you loosen up to where you can do this. All right. And straighten all the way up. So. <laughs> Let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go Let's do some regular uh, stretch. <laughs> Let's do the basic. Let's get back to the basic. Uh, so two years ago, I tried to attempt a 36-inch box jump. It was 24. Oh no, 24, 36. Who cares? <laughs> Who's counting? It's, uh, 36 sounds more epic. But hey, dude. And I tried to jump on the box, which I got hops. In, in high school, I could dunk a basketball. I mean, I'm not, no, not really. But um, I tried to jump on this box, and this box. Uh, gave in, I tipped back, flipped back, and landed right on my back. 
and it put me out for about eight months. I really thought my, um, my powerlifting career was over, but I was able to bounce back due to some help from my massage therapist. And uh, rest in peace, she died last year in a car wreck. Uh, but now we are in position to do one of the greatest feats in the history of the world. Guys, the Strongman Corp is on uh, page with uh, this live stream for the 800 pound bench because we're still uh, shooting for May 31st. And I'm feeling pretty optimistic. If you could say, Julius, can you hit 800 pounds right now? If we was to set up a bench and get the plates. And I would say, I guarantee it. It's all because Curl Baskins is trying to shut me down and I'm not gonna let her. I'm not gonna let her. She's trying to shut all this gym stuff down. And we're not gonna let her shut it down. She's trying to shut the 800 pound bench down. We're not gonna let Curl Baskins stop us. So guys, 800 pound bench is on the way. Tune in, because right now we're about to do 640 pounds for reps. So let's get started. All right. that I'm able to be able to continue at least getting my bench sessions in um, just to be able to continue into the, on this road to 800. So we're coming up on about six weeks away from being able to get um, to uh, six weeks away from uh, my meet. So we're looking at May 31st in Kalamazoo, uh, Michigan. Uh, that weekend or the weekend after. So it's just a it's just a process. Just trying to stay mentally engaged because, like, just to be honest, feeling some sort of like depression because I can't get out and do what I'm usually uh, what like my no I can't get into my normal routine. So that's getting up in the morning and doing the basic things uh, instead because you know everybody's living this quarantine life. So instead of being able to you know, get in my normal groove, uh, it's just kind of got me in a funk where I can't, again, I can't do the normal things that, I, that I'm used to doing and just being in the house all the time. And even, you know, training at home, it just, it's just not the same as coming to your gym and, and you know, having, you know, uh, the people that normally support you uh, be there and push you, uh, you know, during your lifts, so. It's just, and trying to work around everybody's uh, schedule because some people are working and some people are still living somewhat of a normal life because, you know, um, their job allows them to do that. So just trying to find the balance in the midst of all this and still try to stay positive and, and optimistic about what's going on. It's just, uh, it, it's, it's a struggle.
What, what about the advantage of just making sure you listen to your body and knowing when something ain't right? Well, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is, for me, is when, I, when we talk about making sure I listen to my body is because a lot of times I may feel like things are, or not necessarily feel, but I may be under some kind of pressure where my coach uh, may say, hey, look, is your update in? Because every week I have to have a weekly update as far as my, what I did today for the program. And everybody should, right? Oh yeah, everybody should have a coach. Everybody, I mean, especially if you're in competitive lifting. So, I mean, any kind of sport, if you're in some kind of, if you're in some kind of high level of sports or uh, as, a, as a, an elite athlete, you should have some kind of coach. Everybody needs a coach, I don't care who you are. Think about it, some of the greatest players, some of the greatest um, uh, power lifters, uh, even in bodybuilding, some of the greats, uh, they all have coaches. Um, so it's something very important that you need, that everyone needs to consider, um, is having some kind of mentor or coach to uh, help not only um, you be able to, like, as far as your programming, but also gauge and tell you to, to some, when they see stuff that that you would normally see, and they can say, hey look, you need to take a look at this. Almost for like accountability. A lot of these stretches I'll be doing, I just be doing them because they feel good. <laughs> there right. ain't no technique. There ain't no technique, no. You're just like, it feels good. No form to this. What you call feels, that? Uh, getting the stretch, <laughs> the, stretching the muscle. Irregular. That I need, yeah. Well, right here, well, what we're doing is we're applying pressure on the tech, on the pecs, due to this band right here. So it kind of digs in there. Feels good. I told you. Like the, 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 it makes me feel good. Weight well, feels heavy, boy. It's just like anything. When you go from playing basketball four or five days a week and you trim it down to two, it's almost like when you get in there, like your body seems a little more stiffer. Um, it just it just seems like when you're in here, the weight's a little more heavier. It's because of consistency. So, uh, but it's not a fact. So I have to put it in my head. Yeah, I might have to work a little harder, but I have to get it in my head that the weight's still the same. I haven't got weaker. In fact, I'm stronger. So I have to think these things. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. You about to see it. You know what I'm saying? You about to see it. <laughs> Thank you.
this action. yourself. Be irregular. Everything seems slow, like training, leading up to this point, and you just got to learn how to flip the switch, like mentally. So I'm usually calm because I want to, and that's people, they're like, he just does it, it's easy, he's just so calm. Well, I want to save every bit of strength that I can um, in order to make sure that I do what I'm supposed to do. Like, I get the lift that I'm supposed to get, you know, yeah. so. Well, but it's execution time. Yeah, but that's that switch that you flip on right before you get, you get up there and hit the platform. Like, some people say, oh, that switch, you can't turn it on, turn it off. Yeah, you can. You just have to get to that place mentally and focus in on it. Whatever song that gets you there is usually for me. Whatever song or whatever thought in your mind that gets you to that place to where you're ready to put it all on the line, that's what you need to harness, that's what you need to focus on. So every time, you know what I think about? I think about all the struggles that I've been through. I think about, you know, all the people that told me that I would never make it. I think about all the people that told me no. Um, whenever I tried to ask for somebody to help me up out of the pit that I was in. I think about all the people that throw shade and, and, and call me names and, and make fun of me and, and tell me that I can't succeed or I can't do this. I use all that. I go to that place and it's just a barrier. I, you don't see me talking back. I'm not going to talk back and give energy towards those people. I'm going to show them on the platform and I'm going to bury them with my lips. And I've proven it. Lift after lift after lift after lift. And that's, a pro that's, that's something that the lesson for today is stop focusing so much on the negative energy that you're getting from people. And you know how you can show them what kills it? Is, is, is kill it with your action. Kill it with your success, with succeeding. Um, kill it with the growth of you physically, uh, spiritually, and mentally. Those, that's, that's, what you, that's what you should use as your weapon, is, is, pro is progression is your success. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's sweet. It's sweet when you can, when you can say, look, I, I don't have to pay any attention to you, but, but I gave you, guess what? Take this with you though.
be irregular.